A new revelation in the case of a local dad found shot on the side of the highway for the first time. He talks about that night, his recovery, and what you can do to help solve this crime. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 4 o'clock. I'm Amy Troy. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Coin Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier starts our coverage of the Local 6 headlines. Amy. Jenny, Brian Tierney is in good spirits. And you know, after being shot multiple times, he says he doesn't take anything for granted. And there's some new information in the case. Take a look at this car right here. Police now believe the suspect was driving a black Escalade like this one. It had large chrome rims, low profile tires, and tinted windows. Now, Tierney and his family say they are so grateful for all the support from friends, fellow musicians, and the community. As a stay-at-home dad and an aspiring opera singer, Tierna says, Tierney says what happened just doesn't make any sense. It was the evening of March 28th. We're told Tierney had just wrapped up choir practice in Northeast Portland and was headed home to his family. Just after 10 p.m., investigators say other drivers spotted his parked car, a blue Chevy Cobalt, along I-205 at right around Division. Tierney was hurt and waving down traffic. Those who stopped to help quickly saw he'd been shot multiple times. He and his family say it's an absolute miracle that he survived. Whoever did this is obviously um, has problems and I really hope that somebody out there um, saw something uh, during uh, during this and could come forward. Detectives now say Tierney was traveling southbound on I-205 when he was shot multiple times. They want to hear from anyone who may have seen a black Escalade driving erratically on I-205 either before or after the shooting. Again, that was right around 10 o'clock. Today, Tierney says he is just so thankful to be home with his family. There's also a reward in this case. Now, Crime Stoppers is now offering up to a $1,000 reward for information in this case that leads to an arrest. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6.